Good day, my name is Alice and welcome to the Brief Bulletin. Bulawayo Progressive Residents Association has called for a stakeholder engagement to develop sustainable solutions for electricity management and payment in response to recent developments by Zimbabwe Electricity Transmission and Distribution Company to switch off tower lights in Bulawayo as it migrates from postpaid metering to a prepaid model. ZF's decision to switch off tower lights to prepaid metering has sparked condemnation from residents who feel they haven't been adequately consulted. In their position paper, BPI said regular consultations and transparency are key to maintaining trust and cooperation. Top officials in South Africa's African National Congress have held preliminary conversations with representatives from five other parties about forming a coalition or other arrangement to form a government, but no decision has been taken and the discussions are still in the early stages, the ANC said Wednesday. Malenji Bengamatsiri, the ANC spokesperson, informed reporters that the exploratory talks had taken place with the main opposition Democratic Alliance, the far-left economic freedom fighters, and three minor parties. She stated that the ANC had repeatedly reached out to former President Jacob Zuma's new MK party for discussions, but had received no positive response. Two men have been jailed for spreading false news after they accused Ousmane Sanko, the new Senegalese prime minister, of tolerating homosexuality. Activist Bodai Kate and Imam Chak Ahmed Tidian Neo were jailed for three months and fined 100,000 CFA francs, $165 each. They had been angered that Mr. Sonko had allowed a visiting French politician to express his support for same-sex marriages. Homosexual acts are banned in the mainly Muslim West African country and are punishable by up to five years in prison. And now over to Vusi for the weather report. Good day. My name is Vusi and here is the Thursday, June 6, 2024 weather forecast. Plum Tree and Bulawayo are forecast to record a high temperature of 29 degrees Celsius with low temperatures of 9 and 11 degrees Celsius. Matopos and Gwanda are forecast to record high temperatures of 30 and 32 and low temperatures of 8 and 9 degrees Celsius, respectively. Respective Light Bridge, Light Bridge, Lupane, and Victoria Falls will experience warmer temperatures, with the areas recording high temperatures of 33 degrees Celsius. However, Bite Bridge will experience a low temperature of only 7 degrees, while Lupane and Victoria Falls will record lows of 9 and 12 degrees Celsius, respectively. That is all from me. Stay warm and have a good day. That concludes the brief bulletin. My name is Alice. Have a good day.